uh, we became friends as a result of his relationship with Linda. And I told him that Linda had two very special young men. He was grooming at the time, one whose name I won't call, the other was me. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, I, I'd reached the point where I said that whenever I have the occasion to come here to speak to the death of a police officer, um, I'm tempted always to remind all of the officers assembled that this is a constant reminder to you that you are only here for a season and that whilst you have the opportunity to perform the task you have as a police officer, you should take every advantage of that. And as we have um, a number of ministers of religion here present, Reverend Francis, who's here in support of the family and who I know well, she heads a Saxon church. And I, I, I take delight in going there, but I noticed that she has not invited me there this year because the Valley Boy is born there. Amen. You know, so I thought I should say that. Amen. I know Pastor Earl is listening, um, and he's listening to church, but I'm happy that you are here for support for this reason. But in addition to police officers on this occasion, and I really always congratulate the Commissioner of Police for making a very special effort to demonstrate that there is support not only in life, but also in death. Because it is so important for family members to know the sense of appreciation that the, the force that this man gave his life to, right, continue to appreciate the role that he played in the development of our country. But there is always a bit of scripture for me, and, um, and I will be tempted to use two pieces with the indulgence of um, the Reverend Ferguson here too, and, and Father Davies. <laughs> 